I think uh, Richmond came out for real. I think they uh, they took their lumps over the weekend and they came back really hoping to try to knock us off. And I think the score kind of got in our heads a little bit. It was a little bit closer than we thought it was going to be. And we kind of played tight. We played tense. We made lots of uncharacteristic mistakes. Um, most of them not unforced. Uh, so lots of areas that we can clean up and really feel like we're in control of. But, you know, at, down the stretch, I think we had more experienced players um, kind of set the tone. And then our first years really helped create possessions and, and knock some goals in when they needed to. Has had 14 turnovers in the first half. Can you yeah. talk a little bit about what went wrong there? Yeah, I mean, I think a little bit of everything. I think everyone contributed contributed to a bad pass or a missed catch. Again, it was uncharacteristic. I mean, I've never seen like a Julie Gardner miss catches before, and she was able to do that pretty consistently. Um, I mean, I think it was a midweek game. I think you know they they lost their focus. They certainly lost their intensity. Uh, but luckily, we played ugly, and we were still able to win. So, you know, it'd be much much worse if we played that ugly and lost. Looking ahead to the Syracuse matchup. Um, what do you think it would mean to get that win, start the season for you now? I mean, I think that I think that's huge. I think you know Syracuse coming to town is always a huge matchup. They're very fast. They're very aggressive. They've got a great goalie uh, combo that they're playing with. So we're going to have to play sharp. If we play like like we did tonight, we're going to be in big trouble. But I do think that we have a few days of practice. I think the girls have all just committed to doing even more in practice, focusing and bringing better energy, uh, and we'll give them the plan. So we we believe that we're going to be in good a good spot to win this game on Sunday. Did I read you retiring someone's number this weekend? Oh, yeah, Robin or? Nye, who was one of my teammates. Um, so, yes, yeah, she was a captain of our team. She was a national champion, a defensive player of the year, and then went on to be a world champion as well. So a pretty impressive career. It took you guys a while to retire it already, right? I mean, It did, it did. And I think because Sherry Greer was so amazing that it was hard to consider consider anybody else kind of in that class. But uh, but certainly Robin uh, was able to achieve an awful lot of things. and. Pretty lofty goal. She's she's very well deserving. We'll have to retire the number after the completion of the season because Julie Gardner needs to finish up wearing it. Oh, that's right. <laughs> a little detail. <laughs> um, and just a little more about Syracuse. What kind of game are you expecting with them? I mean, it's going to be fast. They run lots of midlines, um, and they're going to push the pace. They like the fast break, but they've got lots of dangerous attackers, some lefties that like to drive the goal too. Um, defensively, they're going to try to pressure us and try to try to pressure us behind, up top, everywhere in between. So. You know, it's going to be a fast-paced, very aggressive, um, very kind of run-and-gun type game uh, that Syracuse will bring in. Awesome. Good. Anything to these guys? Yeah, I'll be fast.